And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk, once again being joined by our Storm Team meteorologists, Blake Harms and Matt Kirkwood. And they're here to help us break down what we're going to be seeing over the next couple days as people get set to start traveling for Thanksgiving Day. Gentlemen, thank you guys for joining me this afternoon once again. Of course. Thanks yeah, no, definitely. And of course, there are going to be a lot of topics that we're going to be discussing. But of course, the, we had one of these live streams yesterday, and the forecast looks pretty darn good, a lot better than it did last week. But of course, we're going to be covering any sort of changes or really just any sort of the outlooks. And we will also be asking everyone who is watching us on Facebook, if you have questions about your route that you'll be traveling on, please leave them in the comment section. <coughs> we will try to get as many as we can, and we will definitely be trying to help you out, plan out your travel day uh, plans, of course. Uh, but first off, just starting off, guys, you know, is there, we talked about it yesterday, uh, Blake and Bill Stefan and I, and we just kind of saw that it was going to be looking a lot better. Are there any changes? Either it's going to be even more positive or maybe even some extra uh, things to be kind of concerned about. So yesterday I was looking at the national map and considering what we came off of, Blake, <clears throat> this is ideal timing. Yes. Really. So I was looking at the national radar, and you could drive all the way from Washington, D.C., all the way to the west coast of San Francisco, and not once use your windshield wipers or be concerned about any type of inclement weather. Highly unusual uh, calm weather pattern, tranquil weather pattern uh, for this time of year. I mean, the last week was a perfect example how, yes. how crazy it can be, but it's relaxing uh, at just the right time. So it's really, nothing's really changed, and we like that. Uh, going forward for the traveling of on Thanksgiving, it just looks ideal. Not just here in the Great Lakes, but pretty much across the nation. Yeah, there's no major storm systems that we're really tracking. I think the kind of the perhaps most impactful will be some some snow up in the northwest, but that doesn't even seem to be all that significant. So yeah. when that's the most inclement weather you have at the end of November, we're doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing pretty well. So. I mean, the, I mean, outside of that storm coming up on Thanksgiving itself, that's just going to dump rain. Yes. I mean, obviously, we always look for you know the frozen precipitation, yes. you know, whether it's ice or snow, and you know that can delay flights or you know, make it uh, hazardous traveling, slip and sliding. That's just not going to present itself this Thanksgiving, thankfully. Yeah, no, thankfully. And is there any kind of concern about that rain potentially freezing over? I know we heard from Terry in the morning shows today talking about uh, freezing fog, something that I had never heard of, but is that <coughs> potentially something to kind of keep an eye out for? Yeah, well, it looks like, well, tomorrow morning will be the best chance of that happening as we clear out the sky tonight and uh, what, see what happens during a day, especially with a day chock full of sunshine with temperatures uh, above the freezing mark, you melt some of that snow. And that moisture uh, from that melting snow kind of congregates in the lowest, lowest level of the atmosphere. And then when you cool things off at night, you can get fog to form. I don't think it's gonna be widespread. I think it's gonna be quite isolated and maybe scattered, but wherever it does form, it will form where temp <coughs> temperatures are likely to be well below freezing. It'll mm -hmm. probably be, you know, readings around you know 28 degrees in the Grand Rapids 26 degrees somewhere in there and that's obviously uh, could create what we call black ice so just you know tune in Terry tomorrow during daybreak and she'll have areas that you know reduce visibility where that fog is and just be careful you know when you when you're heading out especially on those uh, secondary roads uh, out in the rural areas mm -hmm. and it's typically the areas that have the, the most dense snowpack they're most prone mm -hmm. to that kind of fog as well so that's more areas between Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo right along that 131 corridor through parts of Allegan Barry northern Kalamazoo and southern Kent counties it's kind of the the was the bullseye snow from this past event um, other areas are starting to see the grass pop out already as Matt talked about with sunshine in the last few days temperatures up near 40 degrees it really does not take much uh, especially because the ground obviously cooled off with that snow but it's still not where it would be in the dead of winter so we have a few things working in our favor mm -hmm. and uh, that snowpack's going to continue to melt this week yeah no definitely and terry's going to actually be joining us on the live desk tomorrow morning as one last kind of look at the forecast thanksgiving travel and we're also going to be taking a look tomorrow on sort of what we can expect on the way back from the holiday break so again that is coming up tomorrow at 10 30 right here on the live get live desk excuse me uh but before we get started i do want to remind everybody that if you have questions about your holiday travel please leave them in the comments section below on facebook we will try to get to as many as we can and help you out as much as we can but uh, moving on now, I guess we uh, we have a couple of graphics that we kind of want to share out with everybody and just kind of explain what we're going to be seeing and what we have already seen uh, so far uh, this November. 
Yeah, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but uh, I've, we saw some snow Thanksgiving week back in 2014. That was in the midst of our snowiest uh, November of all time, and we're gonna we're pretty close to that. We're not quite <laughs> gonna get there, uh, but we're still pretty close to that. And uh, almost all that snow that we've seen this month fell during that stretch last week. I think all but maybe three or four inches. So, right. uh, and Matt came up with this uh, pretty interesting statistic. And Matt, you kind of was kind of kind of interesting that we achieved that 20, 28 inches of snow, placing us number two for November. We still have 10 more days to go, and you would think we'd have a chance of breaking that or coming a little bit closer, but you know, to Blake and I and the rest of Storm Team 8, it doesn't look like we have much of any accumulating snow in the forecast as of yet. Of course, models can change, so but right now it doesn't look like uh, that slot is going to change. So second place uh, will likely stay there, but Looking, just <laughs> dawn on me, 28 inches of snow was quite a bit of snow for the month of November. So how long did it take for us to achieve a season, uh, to get to 28 inches last year? Well, it took until January 5th, believe it or not. And <laughs> even more impressive, <laughs> the previous year to that, it took until January 6th to achieve wow. 28 inches. So it gives you an idea how epic this previous snow event was. By the way, back in 2014, when we did set that record 31 inches of snow for November, we received one inch of snow the following December. I don't wow. think that's going to happen. <laughs> I was going to say, we're kind of forecasting a cooler and snowier mm -hmm. December. The model's still kind of hinting at that as we turn the page into the new right. month. So mm -hmm. there's a good chance we'll be well above where we've uh, normally been at, where we already are. Yeah. But even farther back in time, once we get through the end of um, around Christmas time. Yeah, I, I tweeted out. Well, actually, Bill tweeted out. I retweeted that there's, there's already signs somewhere into beyond the first week of December when we could see a significant pattern change to colder and snowy. So we are not, we're not gonna get an inch of snow this December, no, I can right. assure you. Right. Enjoy the sunshine and 40s. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And good travel. Yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, no, checking the comment section right now, we actually had a question from Melissa asking, do we think we're actually gonna see any more snow either for Thanksgiving or really in the next couple of days and it really doesn't seem to be looking like that? No. no. In fact, we'll take you to the Ford yeah. Airport if you want to uh, watch on that. You can kind of touch on this. It looks, travel, honestly, cannot be much better. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. I mean, you can see the runway is uh, perfectly dry. It was a couple of days ago I saw a snow plow was going up and down. It, and they did such an excellent job out there, you know, clearing out that snow. Now, there is, you know, we don't say this very often, but there's a zero percent chance of any kind of uh, mm -hmm. snow, let alone accumulating snow in the next couple of days right here. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a, a good sign considering where we've yeah. been through over the past couple of days. At, so for sure. planes, trains, automobiles would yeah. be just fine. Where <laughs> yeah, you want to go. no, yeah. absolutely. Uh, gentlemen, right before I let you guys go, I do kind of want to talk about, uh, we have kind of ignored it, at least a little bit on my end, that is my fault, about this uh, snow <coughs> accumulation giveaway that we're doing. Mm. Uh, everybody has a chance what? to, yeah, <laughs> right? <Just kidding>. <laughs> 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 Everybody has a chance to win a $250 gift card, and I'm going to let you guys kind of take it away and explain a little bit of the parameters surrounding that giveaway. So essentially, you have until December 21st to go online. I believe it's uh, pinned on our, um, on our weather page. If you click on weather, the option is there to, to enter the contest. And you guess how much snow Grand Rapids will see uh, for, the month, or for the entire winter, and uh, the, the closest guest has a chance to win the $250 gift card. So. We've kind of been doing a little bit of number crunching here in, mm -hmm. in the tracking center. Uh, yeah. we, we guessed before the snowfall started. I think since then, some of us <laughs> on, the, on the lower end may have moved them up a little bit. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> now, um, yeah. What, by the way, this is my question, and I, I feel silly for even asking this since it's our contest. Is it just for the for the winter months, the total snow, or is it for the entire season? So That's Because we've question. gotten accumulating snow all the way into May. That's a long time to wait. That's so. a good, I feel like it's the whole season. But we'll all right, to, we're gonna have to we'll clarify have to see, there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, definitely. But yeah. considering we've already seen over a third of our annual snowfall yeah. before Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it'd probably be best to you know shoot those numbers up a little. Bit <laughs> so when you're, say so. Yeah. So our average is seventy seven inches. <laughs> so are you going above or below? I'm going. I'm going above. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. my initial guess was was mid eighties for Grand Rapids before uh, <laughs> before this snowfall. Man, I don't right. know about now. Okay. But, I'm going, going above. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going above, but not a lot above. I'm going to 
uh, 82.3. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty good guess. Yeah. So anybody out there listening, <laughs> yeah. see how close You heard it here get. first. Right? No, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. We actually have a link uh, on Facebook right now that you can click, and it will take you directly to our website, and then you can fill out your own prediction. But it looks like the winner will be announced on April 1st, and I guess it's throughout the entire season of winter mm -hmm. only. So, you know, okay. if we get a late snowfall, maybe that yeah. doesn't play a factor into that. So... Definitely something to keep it on. Read the fine print before you Yes, answer. exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's the moral of the story here. We yeah, haven't done that yet. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate you stopping by the live desk. And, of course, we're going to be doing another one of these tomorrow morning. So make sure you check in. And we're going to be taking a look at what's coming up after the holiday then. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go and get on back to work. But I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.